And today we also learned the gates at the state fairgrounds might not open at all. The general manager said that they won't push back the fair. It's all or nothing. But with no deadline to decide if the great Minnesota get together will go from this to this on Labor Day weekend, vendors told Aaron Hassanzada that they're in a tough waiting game. Hopefully I'm going to be going on my 21st fair. Perhaps you don't know Tim Weiss Giggles, but you may have tried his dill pickle beer. I am the proud owner of Giggles Campfire Grill. The Minnesota State Fair is Giggles' main gig. Talk about when you typically would start prepping for the State Fair. I was out there today. How does that sound? Even though things are still in limbo, prep for the Great Minnesota Get-Together started several days ago. We have about $30,000 invested right now in supplies that we're, we're committed to. This would be my sixth year at the Minnesota State Fair. Jason John D'Elia owns Minnesota Shave Ice. For me, it feels like our version of Disney World here in Minnesota. John D'Elia's State Fair prep doesn't start until July, but he's already missing out on critical cash flow. Several of my fairs from May, June, and mid-July so far have been canceled. Cass County of Pine River already canceled their county fair, and others are likely postponing. The state fair losses could be jumbo-sized. It's a big operation being the second biggest vendor at the Minnesota State Fair. We did $1.9 million last year. The State Fair is a huge part of my business. Um, it's probably a third or so. As much as the great Minnesota get-together is needed now more than ever, regardless of when it happens, these two will be back for more fun on a stick. I trust the fair to make the best decision for us all. It will be a cash crunch for us, but Giggles Campfire Grill will prevail. I mean, we'll be back. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO4 News.